Hey everyone, so today we're going to take a look back at the iBook G4. They came in 12 and 14 inch models and the one that I have here is a 14 inch. Unlike the more modern Apple laptops, the iBook used a button to pop the screen open. On the left side of the iBook G4, you had most of the ports that you still see today, such as Ethernet, FireWire 400, USB 2.0, Display Out, and Audio. The right side of the iBook has the older style Apple Power Connector and a slot loading disk drive. Similar to the modern Apple laptops, the display folded out behind the body of the computer, but the hinge was much smaller. Another nice feature of the iBook G4 was that it was pretty easy to upgrade the RAM and the airport card. By pressing back on two tabs on the keyboard, you could get underneath to where the airport card was or where you could put one in if you didn't already have one. And you could find the RAM right underneath that cage with the airport card in it. The iBook G4 didn't have a built-in webcam, but it still did have a microphone for using applications like GarageBand. The iBook G4 uses the old round style Apple power connector, but it still uses the same standard lighting indications that it does today, with it being green when the battery is full and amber when the battery is charging. The sleep light on the iBook G4 is much bigger than on the more modern Apple laptops. This is something that I personally really like. These iBook G4s support up to Mac OS 10.5.8 Leopard, but many times it makes more sense to run Tiger on the machines with lower specs. The iBook G4s were made from 800MHz up to 1.42GHz. Most models supported up to 1.25GB of RAM, but the last model supported up to 1.5GB. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it, and as always, thanks for watching.